you know, you, you spoke of this regime of control, but it's not presented that way. You know, it's not presented by, hey, okay, we're this regime of control. There's a narrative behind it. And it's this, this story of progress, right? That with this, this the control is presented as progress, right? And that's how we sort of all decide to participate in it, right? Mm -hmm. Or you invite people to participate in it. And, you know, I was listening to a talk that you said that, you know, something about what's happened with the pandemic is it's also given us a glimpse of what the end point of that kind of looks like, right? We're all living at home and we can order everything online. We can meet online. We can have things delivered to us. We, you know, have as soon as there's a medical problem, we can quickly mobilize a vaccine or something to be able to solve it. I mean, it's, you know, I like how you, you articulated that, that is giving us a glimpse of what the end point looks like. And it's giving us pause to say, wait a minute, is this really a direction that we want to go? It's making a choice that had been implicit and unconscious into something more conscious. And maybe some people think this is a, a great future. You know, everything's very convenient and you are as safe as possible. Uh, safety and control go along with separation, with insulation. And this is, this is like one of the deep myths of our civiliz civilization. I would even say more than our culture. Can you tease that out a little bit more? Because you really articulate the story of separation versus the story of interconnectedness. And without going into, you know, a long explanation of it, like what is this core thing? How does it feed into one story versus the other? Basically, if you understand yourself as a separate being in a world of force and mass, in a world of, of you know, particles out there randomly subject to the forces of physics uh, and, and in a universe that is inexorably degenerating toward entropy, uh, where the forces of nature are arbitrary and there's no intelligence in the world outside of ourselves, but human beings are the sole intelligence and the sole source of order. If you believe all of that, that's and that's separation, you know, the separate self in a world of other, in, a, in, a, in an inhospitable, impersonal, dead universe or unliving universe. If you accept that, then <clears throat> of course, you're going to be a lot better off if you can protect yourself from the random forces of nature <clears throat> and if you can exert control over them and harness them to your to your desires, to your benefit. Um, and, and this is true as, as individuals, but also as a species. So the story, the, the myth, this is a myth, okay? I'm not gonna say whether it is true or not, or quote, just a myth. That's not actually a helpful way to think about it. It is a myth. Therefore, it carries a truth that can align us with something. Okay, the myth says that human beings once upon a time were helpless, superstitious, ritualistic, but because we have big brains, we developed more and more capacity to control the world outside of ourselves through technology. And that as this capacity has developed, we've become better and better off longer and longer lifespan, safer and safer, more and more powerful. And that someday, and this is gonna continue in this glorious triumphant ascent of humanity. And someday maybe we'll be able to exert complete control on the world, on our genes, on molecules and atoms, and we'll, be, we'll enjoy immortality and we'll be able to engineer suffering out of our brains through control of neurotransmitters and everyone can get an implanted chip to interface with your neurons and provide you only the best experiences and any germ, any other organism that is out of place, we can banish, banish that, we can destroy it uh, and we'll have perfect health because life is fundamentally a war of each against all. And the, the, the other beings, the bacteria, the viruses, the germs, they're not, they don't care about you. In fact, they 
are happy to maximize their self-interest at the expense of yours. So that so that that separation, that that sense of separation automatically leads to a notion of progress that is built on control.